What's going on everybody? Today it is myself, Taylor, and Hello. Ike. Yo. <laughs> we are on the way to Harbor Freight to pick up a Predator 212cc engine um, for Taylor's $50 go-kart. So it's going to be a $200-ish go-kart now, but it should be really fast. So, well, we're not doing the axle today, though. No, we're not doing, <laughs> we're not doing the uh, One wheel's going live to axle. I got a name for it. What? One wheel peel. <laughs> Yeah, but we like all the names you have come up with. Some of them are pretty good. I uh, we've gotten good laughs out of them. But um, yep, we're gonna do the swap on that today. We already took the uh, 80cc engine off of it, uh, so all we really have to do is maybe drill new mounting holes for the Predator, stick it on there with the clutch and the chain, and we'll be good to go. Oh yeah, here we are. Not that one. Not that one. But this one the 212. Ike and I have decided that the bigger engines like the what it, what is this 301 and the 420 will not fit on our go kart or mini bike without heavy that's, heavy modification of the frame. Yeah it kind of sucks. It's also got a larger output shaft but this is the one we're going with. Ike and I have bought four of them so now between Ike Taylor and I we're gonna have five of them. Uh, $120, but with the coupon, they are 100 So we're now on the way to a farm supply store to pick up a clutch. We got here, uh... Some clutches. Some clutches. $36.95. Sweet. With, uh, 12 teeth. Man, this is gonna make it faster. Race car. Ours are 10 too? Something like that. Don't you need one too? I have a... Torque converter. He got uh, a torque converter. Right. <laughs> torque converter that's from right. Go Power Sports. <laughs> Taylor's the nut wizard. <laughs> we just picked up a clutch for the Taylor that pre the Taylor that Predator just bought. It is a uh, 12 tooth clutch for a three quarter inch output shaft. It's the cheapest we found it in town for like $39. Um, Track Supply has them, but they're like 60. So yeah, we don't get them there anymore. So because we haven't been riding Taylor's go-kart and we took the engine off of it because we were gonna put it on uh, our rat rod wagon, which we're now thinking we're gonna put a Predator on it too, but we're saving that for another day. Um, the go-kart has been condemned to the shed kind of scary back here well in there anyway there are tons of spiders and here in North Carolina there are quite a few black widows and I'm fry burgering it wearing flip-flops probably not the smartest thing to do but it'll be fine oh and we have another go-kart frame back here that's actually never been on a video anyway there is the $50 go-kart still looking maroon and still looking minty as ever I'm just gonna grab it and hope there are no brown recluses or black widows in it. Definitely should have grabbed gloves. Definitely should have grabbed better shoes, but it'll be okay. Oh, yep, here she goes. Bam, it's mint. And just to refresh everybody's memory on this go-kart, it is a go-kart we picked up for $50. It is one-wheel drive, so there's no live axle in it. These two wheels are not connected. Um, engine goes there, obviously. Um, there's the sprocket, so clutch is gonna go here, chain there. It's got a drum brake, very basic go-kart. Brakes are pretty terrible. The seat, I forgot about the seat. The seat's pretty much broken, courtesy of Taylor. Yeah, it's probably not the best thing to be getting a six and a half horsepower engine. It's probably gonna do somewhere around 30 miles an hour now too, uh, with the governor on it. So probably not the best thing to be going 30 miles an hour, but we're gonna do it anyway and uh, see how it goes up against my go-kart my uh my go-kart that has a predator 212 on it but it's modified to make roughly nine and a half horsepower so yeah we're thinking this is just gonna do a bunch of burnouts one wheel peels so i'm gonna unbox this puppy i'm actually gonna start with this clutch which was like i said forty dollars uh nothing special it's probably not even rated for six and a half horsepower but uh, it'll do the job. It's a 12 tooth clutch um, for three, three quarter inch shaft, which is what the Predator 212 has. It won't last forever, especially because, like I said, it's 
probably not even ready for this amount of horsepower, but it'll do for now. If you wanna get real fancy with how you get the power from the engine to the wheels, you're gonna to want to check out a torque converter. Uh, GoPowerSports.com sent us one and we did an install video and the acceleration is insane. Uh, yeah, so go check that out. If you want something a little light nicer than this and are willing to spend a little more money. So, let's do this. Here we go. Got some instructions. You're not gonna need these. Got some hardware here, we never use it. Styrofoam, bam! Here's what we need right here. El Predator. 212 cc, baby. Staying a powerhouse, straight from China. It'll be fine. Now, the exhaust and intake on these motors right out of the box are pretty restrictive. We've done some mods of these before. You can check that out, and that out in one of our mini bike videos, I believe. Here goes the Predator. Uh oh. <laughs> uh. Couple things. The cooler and the gas tank. It's all right. You can take this. Uh, you can take this cover off. Yeah. And, and twist it. And turn it. Oh, okay. To any direction you want. I'm gonna bolt the engine down, and then we can figure out. Uh, the perfect fitment or placement for our clutch. So, uh, I didn't run to the store, didn't grab bolts, but we had three kind of matching bolts laying around. And as you know, we like to do things the incorrect way, get it running and then come back later and maybe do it the correct way if we feel like it. We don't have very many washers. So uh, I think it'll do more good on the bottom than it will on the top. Yeah, it'll be fine. I have the engine mounted. I have the clutch mounted. So all I need to do is cut a chain for it and uh, attach the throttle cable. So to review for putting a throttle cable on, you feed your skinny frayed end, in my case, through that nut, which has a hole in it. Then you take the black end of it here, that's a little bit thicker, and put it through there. Then you tighten down on it, and then you also loosen uh, this nut here to make the, uh, make the throttle, I guess, return. So I'm now going to uh, figure out what length chain we need for uh, this here new motor. Ike is finishing up putting the chain on. Uh, I cut a chain but of course it wasn't uh, long enough. It was kind of messed up but he's tightening down the engine with our three bolts as per usual and Taylor is going to take this thing on its maiden voyage with its uh, six and a half horsepower engine. It doesn't do good with one wheel, but also doesn't yeah. help that there's not any tread on it.
and I could try like started going full throttle into like the trees to get the stop. Something is wrong with the steering. Uh, the up there's, there. as you can see, there's like an eighth turn before anything actually happens. There's a lot of play. Did you break it already? Nah. How'd it go? Is it fast? It looks fast. Yeah, I mean, it needs an axle back. I know it needs an axle. It also needs the governor taken out of it. Yeah. I'm glad y'all agreed. Man, it likes the one wheel peel. Huh? It likes the one wheel peel. It does like the one wheel peel. Loves the one wheel peel. Well, what's the verdict, man? Is the Predator swap worth it? Yeah. Definitely. I like it. I have yet to, to ride. Yeah, ride tomorrow when it's not as wet. I'll probably ride tomorrow when it's not as wet. We need to get one of your go-karts that these people have never seen. It's fine. We need to have a little bit of a, a freeway, if you will. <laughs> Some competition. That's right. So as you can see here, the Predator is on it. Um, but we're going to do kind of a final verdict tomorrow when it's lighter outside and we can really hit that against this maybe get one ike's go-karts too have a little fun we decided to save the racing for another video so be on the lookout for that you'll see four carts race at once taylor crash into some shrubs and a few slow motion drifting clips it was a ton of fun we'll see you soon thanks for watching <laughs>